Alright, this tutorial is going to show you how to set up a VPN connection between Cisco routers. We're using the 30, 3725s, I believe. Alright, and we're going to simulate an actual internet connection. So what we're first going to do here is connect everything. And we're going to throw SDM out on the side. And I'm going to configure this interface. SDM test is the one we're going to use. Now these are all that is an actual loopback adapter. And what we're going to do is loopback adapter, blah, 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 properties. And then you just change this, 10, 10, 10, 2. Default gateway, I'm going to make 10, 10, 10, 1. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. And that's just saying multiple gateways because my local area connection is connecting out. Both have gateways. There's a whole lot of trouble with that. I will show you later how to make sure that the traffic gets routed out SDM test instead of out this local area connection. Alright, so now that that is configured, connect it to there. And this is going to be held open by a regular old switch. Fun, fun. Solving setup in GNS3 with loopback adapters. Alright, so let's. Alright, and we're actually back. I had to reset up everything. Um, GNS3 is a jank program, and sometimes it gives you a lot of errors, as you can see down here. Anyway, now we're going to name this Internet. And this is going to be remote. Hopefully, remote. This is going to be main core. Main core. All right. Now, first thing we're going to do is decide. Let's just call this um, .11.11.1. This is supposed to be zero. This is just the network. And those are going to be slash, just do them slash 24 to keep everything nice and easy. So those are two networks there, and the network on the far side will be. 172.16.0.0 slash 24. Alright, and we already, since SDM's already set up that way, this has to be 10.10.10.0 10 slash 24. Alright. Now we're going to start up these routers, and you'll notice how my CPU is just already up because of this, but you got to be really careful because this will peg your CPU and then Dynamis will crash and you'll lose everything. So, what you want to do is start them up one at a time, make sure that they go down. If they do not go down, you'll go and hit idle PC, wait for it to idle out, and it should settle it all down. You'll notice I'm going to have to do an idle PC on that one before I go on and hope it, and hope that it uh, keeps it down. Alright, and you're going to want to choose the one with the star. If there isn't one with the star, just choose the top one. Alright, once you apply that, it should drop down. And we're going to start up this last one. That doesn't pig. Looks like it's going to pick the CPU. Probably going to have to um, IWPC that one as well. I'm going to pause this. Alright, we're back. These are all IWPC'd out. We're running at 64%. Most of that is due to the video, and it's going to jump up and down because these things like to be a little crazy. First thing we're going to do is console into meet the internet right now, and we're going to pop that out. And not the one we wanted. Let's just close that session for now. Internet. Alright. <clears throat> so, now. I'm going to let me get this a little higher so that we can see it. At router. Do it. Enable command. Conf T. We're going to 
interface with FA00, which is connected to main core. So we're interfacing with that one right there. Now we're going to add, and everything's going to be dot one on the side and dot two on the far side. So 12, 12, 12, 1. Zero, and then do a no shut, and that was should be up and running. All right, and now we're going to interface FA zero slash one. We're going to add address of eleven, 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 one, eleven dot eleven dot eleven dot one, two five five, two five five, two five dot zero. Oops, what am I doing? No shut. So both of those should be up and running. Just to double check. Yep, they're up and running. All right, next, we are going to go over to the remote branch. Console. No. Hold on, FA00 should be on this one. We'll double check. Internet, yep. All right. Remote, enable, conf t, interface fa0 slash, oops, actually run 0 slash 0 for now, and do ip add 11.11.11.2, and do the rest of the command would be nice, 255.255.255.0, .0. new and no shut, that should be up and running. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to uh, okay, 0 slash 1, do an IP add 172.16.0.1, 255.255.255.0, and no shut. So both those interfaces are up. And then we're going to do an IP route. All that's going to do is route everything out to the internet that it doesn't know about. So basically, default route, IP route 0 .0 .0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0.0, 0 0.0.0.0, out to we can do an X interface or an X top, preferably an X top, which is going to be 11.11.11.1. All right, I'm going to show the routing table. 172.11.1. Boom. All right, that should be all set up. Now we're going to go into the main core. <clears throat> core router, and we're not going to enter the main dialog. Mm -hmm. Initial configuration dialog. Once again, same stuff. You know what I forgot to do is change the host name and everything. You can do that yourself. Don't worry about it. <coughs> Since this is a lab, I usually don't really care. <laughs> Passwords also fall by the wayside. And now we're going to interface FA0 slash 0. We're going to add an IP of should be 10, 10, 10, or 12. Well, 12, 12, 12, 2. Uh, subnet mask. Do a no shut or interface FA0 slash 1. We're going to do an IP add of 10.10.10.1 slash 24. Do a no shut on that as well. Then we're going to do IP route. And the, def the next hop would be 12.12.12.1. All right. We're going to look at the routing table, and looks good to me. And now we're going to do some initial testing. This is always important. Always do it. You can always, okay, ping. We're going to say we want, say we're going to try, we're optimistic, and we think we have connectivity all the way to 11, 11, 11, 2. So we're going to do ping 11.11.11.2. .11 .11 and we shall, there we go. Took a little while to harp out. There we go. We have connectivity. Now, let's say I want to ping 172.16.0.1. Good. It's actually what we want, I think. Once we do netting, it's what we want. Right now, not so good. Let me think. I'm going to pause and think this. <laughs> Alright, we're back, and yes, that's what we want. I'm thinking the internet's not going to know about this route, so it's not going to go where, nowhere to direct things. Alright, so that should be all set. And obviously, once we do netting, it'll work just fine. Um, Alright, 